One of the easiest ways to transform your furniture as well as give it great long-lasting protection is with our waxes. We have five different kinds of waxes that are so easy and fun to use. We have our Mind Your Own Beeswax, which is a natural wax that's in a squeezable container that makes it really easy to apply. We have a beautiful ceruzing wax that actually has chalk in the wax that gives you a beautiful limed or ceruzed look. We have a clear wax that gives you protection and some patina. We have a beautiful light antique wax that is always used in combination with your dark antique wax. You'll notice on the light antique wax, it has this beautiful color. That's the natural beeswax color combined with carnauba, which gives it a really hard, durable surface. That can be used in conjunction with your dark antique wax. Never use the dark antique wax by itself. It always needs to be used with the light antique wax. You'll put the light antique wax on first with 100% coverage. Once this wax has come to tack, you can come back with your dark antique wax just where you want to be able to add some age on the edges. When you're working with the waxes, especially with the light and dark antique wax, I'll normally have one brush for each. I'll have one designated brush for light antique wax and a designated brush for dark antique wax. Remember, waxes are petroleum based, so they cannot be cleaned with soap and water. You need to make sure that you clean it either with your clean slate or paint thinner. So now here's a piece that I have painted with my milk paint. I wanna be able to come back and give it some age. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to apply my light antique wax. I like using our round hog hair brushes. It loads up the, the wax beautifully and it allows the application to go on a lot faster than using just a regular chip brush. I'll offload it on just a little bit of cardboard. That allows the, the wax to become evenly distributed all over the brush and also takes off some excess so I don't put on too much wax. And then I'll come over the entire piece, get it down in the crevices. Now, you wanna be able to allow this to come to what we call tack, T-A-C-K. You do not want to apply your dark wax right after applying the light antique wax. Allow it to dry about 10 or 15 minutes and you can tell when it's come to tack by touching it. If it's still greasy and it's moving around, it hasn't come to tack. Allow it to be able to come almost completely dry. If you're not going to be adding the dust of ages, you can let your piece sit overnight if you want and then put your dark wax on the next day. So, in order to show you how to do the dark wax, I'm gonna use my designated dark wax brush. I'll load it up. Now watch how I'll go in a circular motion to be able to make sure the wax is completely applied all over my brush. It's very, very important to offload the dark wax. So offload it just a little bit like this. You need just a very little bit on your brush. And then when you are antiquing, make sure whether it's a drawer or a door or maybe a corbel, start on the outside of the piece first. So you're going to just kind of gently go on the sides. This is where a piece would have naturally gotten dirty and received some age over a period of time. And then in a cross hatching motion, start to work your way into the piece. So you can start to see it's going to be um, going on the details just a little bit. It'll start to make a carved surface really pop and have a lot more depth and composition. Don't overdo it. Here's the caveat. If, let's say, you get too much dark wax on, all you have to do is come back, load up a little bit of the clean slate on a lint-free rag. You can wipe it off and start over. Just make sure that you apply your light antique wax again, and then that way you can go back and antique with dark wax. One of my favorite waxes is my ceruzing wax. I love the fact that I can use this not only on raw wood, on floors, on pretty much any surface that I wanna be able to make look like it's limed and aged. So I'll put just a little bit of this ceruzing wax onto a rag, can go in the grain. Allow your ceruzing wax to dry about 15 or 20 minutes, and then come back with a lint-free rag, and you wanna buff it to a beautiful, natural sheen 